Aren't you grateful for the modern advances that make our life easier? Like the internet and how we can read various things at once using tabs in a browser or different devices? Well, the reading wheel, also called the book wheel, was a device that allowed users to sit and access eight shelves of books by rotating the wheel face. Acting as a 16th century Google browser, this vertically standing invention of the 1580s by the Italian inventor Romelli, thanks to RIT, has now come to life. The book wheel was designed by Agostino Romelli in 1588. Born in Italy in 1531, he had a prestigious career as a military engineer and creator. It is just one of 195 designs from his book, The Various and Ingenious Machines of Captain Agostino Romelli. In the 16th century, books were huge and quite heavy, so when conducting research, it would be quite the journey to move from book to book. At the time, most of the reading was conducted by priests and wealthy academics, so the addition of Romelli's wheel would have streamlined that process. While it may have never came to fruition in its own time, it has served as a great inspiration to artists and engineers in the present day. Two historically accurate replica book wheels were created by RIT, Kate Gleason College of Engineering students, Ruth Salem, Ian Kurtz, Matt Nigren, and Mahir Abdelkawi for their senior design project. While Romelli's design was only a figment of imagination brought forth through pen and paper, it is likely that the book wheel would have been located in France during the 1580s. Even though he's born in northern Italy and was considered an Italian scientist, this is where Romelli spent the remainder of his life. As of today, a replica of Romelli's famed book wheel can be found near the Cary Graphic Arts Collection on the second floor of the Wallace Library, located on Rochester Institute of Technology's campus. Another model of what is deemed the mechanical iPad can also be found at the Rosal Hope Robbins Library, which is located at University of Rochester. As mentioned, Romelli never made his design. However, his designs were made into a book. With this and other research, there has been speculation as to how this invention would have been made. During this time period, a number of woodworking techniques were developed, including intarsia, which was a way to inlay wood. Some common woodworking materials during this time would have included an array of tools to measure and cut the wood, and the most popular wood choices would have been walnut, bog oak, and maple. In his design, Romelli used an epicyclical gearing arrangement. This would have been used in certain clocks. Using the method of intarsia and inlaying the wood to make the epicyclical gears, shelves, stand, and cylindrical side of the book wheel would have been an example of how Romelli would have made his design. In order to make the replica in the Cary Graphics Art Collection in the Wallace Library at RIT, the design team did such things as consult about the gears, wood stability, and what materials would make it more authentic to Romelli's design. The team, using this research, decided on materials that included washers, cotter pins, acrylic, linseed oil, wood glue, beechwood, and white oak. The team also took advantage of the tools accessible to them on campus, such as a bandsaw, joiner, planner, and lathe. During the design, they also made the gears visible, which is why they decided to include the acrylic sheeting. This protects the user from the gears. With the knowledge they gained from the research and their own knowledge of engineering, they were able to create the two book wheels fashioned after Romelli's design that now reside at RIT and U of R. This survey of the reading wheel is very important. It gives us insight on the complexity and the inner workings of the epicyclic gears. Romelli's drawings amplify our understandings of past technology and increases the ingenuity of modern engineers. Side. Side. Oh, like this. Yeah. <laughs>